All right, we're here at my vermicompost indoor worm bin, and we are going to do what may be the final update of the apple versus sweet potato or fruit versus veggies experiment. And then the first thing I'm noticing is how this newspaper is really in shreds here. So they have been eating the bedding and even the bedding itself, not as much shredded cardboard and paper as before. And if you remember, this was started as kind of the inoculation or no inoculation bin. So I'm just gonna put that to the side and we're gonna dive right in. Other thing I noticed is there is a depression right here where the sweet potato was. And actually I earlier lifted this tray up to see what was behind and there was a cluster of worms beneath the sweet potato and maybe only one or two around the apple. So let's get going towards this sweet potato and see what we're gonna find here. Now, last time they had gotten into it, they had penetrated it and they were eating the flesh of it. And already I'm not seeing it. We did bury it deeper. I'm just kind of feeling a depression and it's kind of, they may have devoured this. This may be the end of the experiment. And man, were most of us wrong. Holy, Matt, look at that. I don't know that there's any sweet potato here. What the heck? There's something. Oh, whoa. Now that is a worm ball. Holy mackerel. Now there are somewhat of a piece of sweet potato right here. Wow. That's all that's left, I think. Look at that. Oh my gosh, if the apple doesn't make up some serious time, then it is definitely lost. That That is almost gone. Wow, another little piece, <laughs> fell down the hill. Another little piece right here. Oh my gosh, I, that is incredible. It has been 16 days since we started this. It's six days since our last check-in, but wow. Now individually, I can see little fibers and little fibers here, but this is mostly a worm ball. There's castings here on the top, but that is a worm ball right there. Oh my gosh, that is what is left of the sweet potato. <laughs> I'm sorry for my enthusiasm, but I just did not expect this. And here's some peel. Wow, wow, let me just kinda dig under here more. No, there is not, there is no more. This is it. There's your sweet potato right there. Wow, I think we need to check on the apple to see if there's anything left of that. That's its last, last chance to try and win is if it's gone and it has worms all in it. But wow, that is, that is awesome. Okay, here we go. A little bit more sweet potato right there. And this bin is totally ready to go underneath to finish foraging and finish turning into casting. So if today is the last day of this experiment, then we will, we will do that. Let me look in the apple. Nothing yet. Okay. Nothing. Some worms. I definitely seen some worms. Oh, I'm starting to see a peel right there. Get that out of the way. Uh-oh, Apple. I think you have really surprised a lot of us. Just kind of go underneath. Oh. <laughs> um, they are in it. They are in it. In fact, I think if I move this, I'm seeing a worm right there. Ah, uh, here's the stem. I don't know that they are in it. They're on it. I'm not seeing as many mites. They're kind of in it. There's a couple in it, but nothing, nothing too much. I think we're gonna call this the sweet potato one. I'm gonna break this up and we're just gonna let this bin forage for probably about a week or so. And then I'll put it underneath and start a new tray or maybe I could actually just start a, a new tray, but I'm just gonna rip this up. This is unimpressive apple. A lot of juices in there, nothing got in. That's strange because I'll, I'll put apple cores in here and they'll last for maybe two weeks tops. Um, but this thing, just no penetration in it. And it's been 16 days. 
So there's no smell. I don't smell anything, but but just kind of bad form worms. Bad form, Apple. You fooled us all. <laughs> and also, you know what? For 16 days, a lot. I think the average was 14 for the sweet potato. So I may have to go back and look and see if someone picked 16 or who was the closest to 16 because even if they didn't pick it to win, they may have won on the, the sweet potato time frame. So I'm just going to kind of make a little a little mini feeding zone here and maybe this will kind of jump start it. I'll put some some shredded cardboard down and then we'll just put the apple in. Maybe that will help them kind of get to it more. And we'll do our, maybe even give them a, Little coffee filter right there and then we'll just put some grit right there and that that'll count as our last official feeding for this tray that is it sweet potato one the underdog if only we had all bet our money on the sweet potato man would we have won a lot of money no we would have won nothing because <laughs> this didn't count for anything but just something to note there, if you're thinking about whole apples, whole sweet potatoes, which is going to go first, um, look like the sweet potato one. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's something about the apples that take longer. And I know some people have talked about that, how apples take a long time, months even. And some people talk about sweet potatoes taking a while over at Dworms. She had a really good video on her sweet potato. And... They just, once they kind of got in and figured it out, man, they are just going to town on it. So almost similar results to what we're seeing here, but that's good to know. So if anybody's wondering about sweet potatoes, certainly freezing it, maybe even cutting it up more instead of putting a whole one in there is definitely going to help. But I think we learned a lot from this experiment. So I hope everybody's having a great day and happy Burma composting, everybody. Take care now.